Hey tubers, Craig the Muskoka Painter here. Today we're continuing to paint our window frame and we're going to be painting the flats. Let's get into our demonstration. Now before we get into our painting demonstration I just wanted to show you a quick tip here. And we've opened our paint, we've stirred it up. I actually transfer my paint over from a regular paint can to a cutting can. You can see how much wider the rim of the cutting can is over the paint can. And actually this isn't the best paint can to use in this demonstration because we're using the Faro and Ball product and it actually has a wider can than usual. So we just find that it's a lot easier to dip your brush in and out of a wide mouth cutting pail. It's just a tip to use if you're doing extensive cutting in or detail work as we're doing today. So as you can see, our window frames have been painted, mountain bars. Now we're going to get into the flats. And we're going to start with the next section of the window, which is the build out here. And so what we'd like to do is paint the details on either side of the flat first. And that's because if we try to paint the flat first and then the detail, we take away some of the product from the flat and it makes it harder. It's going to take that much more paint to finish it, more coats to finish. So we start off with that inside detail. But we can use a similar technique as we did on the mountain bars. And then we come to this detail and we lay down our wet brush and work it back and forth. Very similar to the technique we used on the mountain bars. And just even that paint out. And then we go to the flat portion. And if we try to do the flat portion first, we get coverage. And then as we work the details, we end up taking paint off. So this way, we maximize our the actual painting we do and we maximize our coverage like so. So now we've painted our build outs and now we're going to paint the flat part and perhaps the most critical part the uh, flat window frames and the back bands and this is what most people's eye is drawn to when they're looking at the windows and so we want to do a nice job of these. So what I like to do is start when I do the verticals, I like to do the verticals first and start from the bottom and work our way up and the same thing applies we can do this uh, we can paint this back band detail first get a nice coat on there Finish off the crosser. Make sure we even our paint out. Okay, and then this detail has already been painted in. So then we can work on our flats. And we just start in the middle of the flat and then feather the paint back in. You start there, work the paint back and forth, feather it back in to the wet edge. And you start in the middle, work the paint back and forth, and feather it into our wet edge there. Now this is important, this is critical at this point. We're either going to have a butt join, either straight across here or straight across here. Or in this case, you probably can't see it on the camera, 
is a diagonal join, is a miter join here. So that's where we want our paint brush stroke to finish along that join, wherever it may be, whether it's a straight one or a diagonal miter cut. So how I do this is I finish off my flat and I just go straight over this one, or one way or the other. Bring that back, feather that back into the wet edge. And then here, I take my brush and I place it on the line and work back. Like that. And then as we put subsequent coats on, it fills in. And then it looks like it was cut along that line. Like so. I hope you enjoyed that video on how to repaint a window. And uh, hope you find that the tips I included in there are useful uh, when you do your projects. I'm sure if you apply them, you'll uh, end up with some pretty satisfying results. So feel free to leave any questions or comments. And by all means, subscribe. And until next time, it's been Craig from the Skulker Painter, helping you take the paint out of paint.